My name is Jefferson Packer and I am a tour manager with ACFEA Consultants. We are a company that since 1955 has arranged tours for performing groups, choirs, orchestras, bands, all over the world. We do domestic and international touring. We have uh, worked with um, gala groups uh, and love continuing to do so. I am a lifelong singer. I've studied voice privately for 10 years and I have a master's degree in piano which I use mostly for accompanying. We find it very, very helpful to the process if the, if the chorus has asked itself why it wants to tour, uh, what part of its mission it's hoping to expand or even fulfill, um, what it's looking to achieve while on tour, what energizes its group to travel. It could be outreach to local communities, it could be collaboration with uh, sister cities, LGBT organizations, and it could be travel somewhere further afield, like international destinations. We've worked frequently with the Gay Men's Chorus of Los Angeles. That was one of our earliest tours with an LGBT group. Um, they toured to Europe and uh, have since been many other places with us. Their touring is largely tied up in their mission, so they don't tour unless they have an outreach component, in this case international. Uh, the Seattle Men's Chorus we work with frequently. They just came back from a tour to Germany where they sang at Buchenwald, which was very moving. Um, and they have also done a local tour with us where they were reaching out to communities in the greater Seattle area, Washington and Idaho, um, Pocatello. And that was a very different tour for them, but successful in different ways. The factors that a chorus really should take in consideration, if you think about a spectrum of LGBT music organizations, ones that are highly focused on the artistic product and happen to be LGBT, and ones that really think, really believe, and we know, through art can transform society. And so that their tour will probably be more focused on outreach and feeling a connection to people that otherwise would not have known about them and maybe even about LGBT communities. The biggest pitfall, I think, is not having a strong conception of why you want to go through this experience because it is a lot of work. Working with on your own or with a tour company, it is still tremendous labor to coordinate all of the various components. And without clear goals and objectives, even if you don't meet them, it's very hard to assess the experience and learn from it for future tours because one's first tour or second tour, one hopes, is the beginning of many. It's commonly believed that the farther you travel, the more expensive it will be. Um, but when talking about touring, it's really important to consider value versus actual price. Since most of our courses, participants will pay some of the expenses, if not all of the expenses of the tour, what will they most value out of a trip, out of an artistic experience, out of a group experience? In some cases, LGBT groups find that their members are very well-traveled and that going someplace further afield will actually energize the group more. Um, but then there are other groups who are very, very committed to reaching out to smaller communities nearby. Many LGBT groups, as you know, are in larger cities and some of whose members come from these small communities and reaching back out to them and making the presence known it can be very, very motivating. We get asked very often um, by potential clients of all stripes, where is everyone else going? Or where, does, where in the world is the most fun? The answer is as complex as the question is simple because for the right group, it could be anywhere in the world. The wonderful thing about LGBT groups in particular is like that question, where should we go? it doesn't come up as often because so many LGBT groups realize that one size does not fit all. The part of the very mission is to celebrate the uniqueness of every person. And a tour is like a person. It, it, it can never be replicated. It's, it's a unique experience. And working with like-minded clients is very rewarding for us.